二零一六年二月十一日，有新聞指出，美國女射干涉重力波天文台宣布探測到重力波，證實一百年前德國物理學家愛因斯坦發表嘅廣義相對論終於完成論證。物理學界指出，今次嘅結果開拓咗探索宇宙嘅新領域，可以觀察黑洞嘅合併同埋高質量星體嘅碰撞。事源上年，二零一五年九月十四日，即正正以色列吹角节当日，物理学界惊人咁样发现，美国雷射干涉重力波天文台嘅监测站探测到雷射干扰，重力波分析仪器出现异常结果。于是，研究团队寻求確认数据。到咗上星期四，即系二零一六年二月十一日，佢哋对外界公布，研究团队最终证实系探测到重力波。今次嘅发现，直接证实咗重力波嘅存在。虽然人类肉体冇办法感受到重力波，但团队将探测到嘅重力波频率转化为声波，现场人士亦可以用耳朵听见。以下系有关探测到黑洞碰撞重力波嘅新闻报道。Ladies and gentlemen, we have detected gravitational waves. We did it. 美国镭射干涉重力波天文台嘅科学家口中嘅 gravitational waves 重力波，早喺一百年前，由著名物理学家爱因斯坦喺发表广义相对论嘅时候预言出嚟。但系直至星期四，先至有科学家正式宣布第一次发现重力波嘅直接证据。Let me start with what we saw. So on September 14th, 2015. The two LIGO observatories in Hanford, Washington, and Livingston, Louisiana, recorded a signal nearly at the same time, nearly simultaneously, and the signal had a very specific characteristic. The characteristic of as time went forward, the frequency went up. And what was amazing about this signal is that it's exactly what you would expect, what Einstein's theory of general relativity would predict for two big, massive objects like black holes. 根據愛因斯坦嘅廣義相對論，重力被定義為由質量造成嘅時空扭曲。如果將時空比喻為一塊薄膜嘅話，將一個保齡球放上去，薄膜就會因為拉扯產生曲面，喺周圍嘅小球會隨住曲面滾向保齡球。呢、这、一個比喻可粗略咁解釋重力嘅作用。而重力波就係有質量嘅物體移動嘅時候喺時空產生嘅漣漪。由於重力波嘅波幅極為微小，過往科學界一直未能夠證實佢嘅存在。時至如今，科學家竟然能夠偵測到發生喺十三億年前由兩個黑洞碰撞所產生嘅重力波。有關發現唔單止有助進一步了解重力嘅作用，更加為探索宇宙開拓新嘅方向。以下則係研究團隊成員。哥伦比亚大学教授 s a b a t Marker 接受美国 CNN 新闻嘅访问。The discovery of gravitational wave is, I think, the most important breakthrough in modern science. What LIGO has done, it's the first time the universe has spoken to us through gravitational waves, and this is remarkable. Up till now, we've been deaf to gravitational waves, but today we are. We're able to hear them. So gravitational waves are the most elusive prediction of Einstein. For 100 years, we were seeking, and we did not find them. Explain to me how gravitational waves work and how we're able to detect them through the advanced LIGO. Advanced LIGO is essentially a microphone. Yeah, the first cosmic astro microphone. We are listening to the universe, not seeing the universe. So what LIGO will do? LIGO will measure the space-time distortions. So this space-time vibration propagates and changes the shape of everything on its path. Like even planets. Even planets. The problem is, it's so small, so tiny, that we need it to have the most exquisite technology, and that is what the LIGO project developed. The most exquisitely sensitive technology to sense it. Does this change our understanding of of our world and our universe? Absolutely, it 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 changes everything. And why is it so significant? This discovery. Big parts of the universe、uh, is hidden from us. With gravitational waves, we see gravitational waves coming from everywhere, and it will reach us. It will reach us even through the densest medium. 
And that's really beautiful because this is like the X-ray of modern science. The skies will never be the same. We will be able to study not only Einstein's general relativity, we will be able to find objects we only imagined that they should exist. We should see a universe that has never been observed before. What is a gravitational wave? It's a ripple in the fabric of space and time. Imagine that space is a giant sheet of rubber. Things that have mass cause that rubber sheet to bend, like a bowling ball on a trampoline. The more mass, the more that space gets bent and distorted by gravity. For example, the reason the Earth goes around the Sun is that the Sun is very massive, causing a big distortion of the space around it. If you just try to move in a straight line around such a big distortion, you will find yourself actually moving in a circle. That's how orbits work. There's not an actual force pulling the planets around, just a bending of the space. Gravitational waves are produced whenever masses accelerate, changing the distortion of space. Everything with mass and or energy can make gravitational waves. If you and I started to dance around each other, we would also cause ripples in the fabric of space and time. But these would be extremely small, practically undetectable. Now gravity is very weak in the scale of other forces in the universe. So you need something really, really massive moving very, very fast to make the big ripples that we can detect. How would you observe a ripple in space? If the space between you and me stretched or compressed, we wouldn't notice it if we had made marks on our metaphorical rubber sheet, for example, using equally spaced rocks, because these marks would also get stretched further apart. But there is one ruler that doesn't get stretched, one made using the speed of light. If the space between two points gets stretched, then light will take longer to go from one point to the other. And if the space gets squeezed, light takes less time to cross the two points. This is where the LIGO experiment comes in. It has four kilometer long tunnels and uses lasers to measure the changes in the distance between the ends of the tunnels. When a gravitational wave comes through, it stretches space in one direction and squeezes space in the other direction. By measuring the interference of the lasers as they bounce between the different points, physicists can measure very precisely whether the space in between has stretched or compressed. And the precision needed is incredible. To detect a gravitational wave, you need to be able to tell when something changes in length by a few parts in 10 to the 23. It's like being able to tell that a stick one sextillion meters has shrunk by five millimeters. The effect of a gravitational wave is so minuscule and easily confused with random noise, you need a smart data analysis technique. Scientists hope to identify the patterns of gravitational waves by comparing the wiggles they measure in the experiment to the wiggles they expect from the gravitational waves. That's like trying to identify a song being hummed at a noisy party. A very, very noisy party. Imagine your whole life you had been deaf until one day your hearing was restored. You'd be able to explore the universe in this whole new way. That's why detecting gravitational waves is so significant. It's a completely new way of studying the universe. Anytime there's a new way to investigate the universe, we discover things we didn't expect. It's really about looking for new things we didn't know existed, examining the extreme edges of our knowledge of physics, and testing our theories about how the universe works. Lanico 甚至宇宙大爆炸的遺跡開通新道路。另外,黎冠峰亦非常興奮地表示,假以時日,相信全球科技最聰能的控制時間和空間,甚至對科學界研究時空穿梭都有幫助。
。今次发现重力波嘅研究团队，亦可望喺今年或者明年夺得诺贝尔物理学奖。无独有偶，正当呢宗证实重力波嘅经世新闻发布之后三日，即系二零一六年二月十四日，石安教会主日信息正正播放上年二零一五年十月十九日预先录制嘅九二三的共同信息第十篇。信息中，日文牧师正引述物理学家爱因斯坦对于时间同埋空间嘅认识，并提到从科学角度，只要物质能够穿越光速，就能够进行时空穿梭。实在又一次证明整个世界嘅发展完全印证九二三嘅共同信息，并随住呢篇教导而转动。而家爱因斯坦发表嘅重力波被证实，人类进行时间旅行嘅可行性更系指日可待。